Live on tape from the fourth annual Pucks on Net Christmas Party. This is Pucks on Net, a Vancouver hockey podcast. Doesn't talk about fantasy or fancy stats. We're having quite the ranger. It's a real humdinger this but year. But we're all still under control. I think that as the show is into its fourth year, yeah. we're a little mature, a little more <laughs> cultured, a little less piss tanked, if you will. You're saying we're, we're saying we're old. No, we remembered to eat dinner before yes, consuming the apothic red. To prepare for the show, is my mic on? Yeah, your mic. To prepare for the show, I went back and listened to all the the other Pucks on Net Christmas Party uh-huh. episodes. Pucks on Net Christmas Party. Two? Oh, uh-huh. drunken. Oh. I missed that year. I missed that year. Not our best, PMAC. It was a slow, Ooh. murky affair. Um, we kept pushing it back because people weren't, you know, it was a tart. It was a, uh, people were a little tardy. But okay. for some reason, at the at the stroke of cl- the clock, when the clock struck 8.15, hordes of people came in. And it got turnt. It is turnt oh. at the moment. Listen, you put an open bar invite on Facebook, yeah. it's going to get turnt. Yeah. Thanks to the lovely people at, uh, what was the company that sponsored this event? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Sid's, Sid's Handcrafted Vodka. Tempo. Uh, hey, Michael, can you pass me the vodka bottle? Producer Michael is handing Ryan the vodka bottle. Tonight's Pucks on a Christmas Party is Neutral? sponsored by... Neutral vodka. When Neutral. It, when it comes to local distilled vodka, why not go Neutral. Why not, eh? Why not, eh? It's Car- what's the worst? Carbon thing neutral? Happen? You'll get trapped in the bathroom. Ryan also <laughs> did purchase some beverages for the party tonight, so he he's sharing his Christmas bonus with all. Thank, thank you very much. He's provided food. He's provided drink. The Christmas bonus, by the way, at Shaw is the Jelly of the Month Club. <laughs> <laughs> That's a gift that keeps on giving all year round. Marmalade this it's a, month. It's, it's a, mar- a keeper. It, it's a marmalade. It's good. I want to thank you for. Uh, Join us wherever you got us from, wherever you download your podcast from. Make sure you're following us on Twitter at Pucks on the Pucks on Net Sierra, Pucks Net Ka. 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 Oh, it's Christmas, P Mac. Come on, Chris. Come on, P Mac. No. Look. Why not? It's tradition. You don't break traditions at Christmas. They never showed Maris on Frasier, and P Mac will never crow. All this talk about traditions. <laughs> Do you think we had a Cleveland Indians fan at the table <laughs> right now? Hey, 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 the Cleveland Iroquois. The Whoa. Cl- the Cleveland, uh, uh, they traded the uh, Ohio for smallpox blankets. I want to I want to start off the podcast. Ooh. We do every year. We do um, gifts you'd give of an NHL player, okay. an NHL fan, yep. fan base, or teams. Um, Maze Longboat, I believe he has a Pucks on Net um, uh, goalie mask t-shirt. He asks, yeah. how about a Pucks on Net ready jersey for Jason Spezza? Oh, <laughs> what number would you put on the back, Gita? In, in return, I'd also put 19. I was born on the 19th. Oh, it's go. only fitting. Not 69. It's no. hilarious. No, that's a... <laughs> you, that's a head tapper, Dave. <laughs> head tapper. Well, yeah. then, Jason, I, I got you a shirt with the number 69 because I really want to take you out for dinner for two. <laughs> then I should chime in that Squampton... <laughs> Squampton <laughs> chimed in. He wanted uh, he would get Jason Ben some nose plugs, obviously, oh. like like for a swimmer. Oh, Jamie Ben. Jamie Ben. Jamie Ben. Sorry, and he included this photo <laughs> of this kid wearing them, like he's all white. He's like, it's like <laughs> <laughs> well, I, he's got that going for him, which is nice. What that he doesn't do all everything? Yeah. So ja- Jamie Ben doesn't do it, and Jason's a head tapper. Those Dallas stars, really they got They really don't know what they're doing. And, and Patrick Sharp <laughs> likes to do it, but uh, apparently with other people's uh, <laughs> significant others. <laughs> oh wow! But, Merry Christmas, but Jamie everybody. Ben, if I'm going to give you a Christmas present, my first Christmas present to an NHL player on the episode, I'm going to give you another number to add to your repertoire. <laughs> He can learn it downtown. Yeah. Just another notch on the old goalpost. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you guys enjoying the Pucks Night Christmas party so far? It's actually really warm in here. It is a little balmy. <laughs> the heat's going. Well, there's like a m- 130 people here. Well, it's true because I kind of want to strip this off. <laughs> there's two Baldwins here. Strip away. You know, it's Alec just that and kind of party. Alec and Steven. Alex doing Donald Trump impression. <laughs> Steven is denouncing the Donald Trump impression. <laughs> I, uh, I don't, uh, I don't agree Beth with that one. And Beth and Simon Baldwin are here, which is really, really nice. Yeah. All the, I mean, it's a, it's a star-studded affair. It really Len is. Catling of the UBC Thunderbirds. Yeah. Uh, he's no, yeah, he plays, what is he, <laughs> uh, what is he right corner? <laughs> right Half corner back. and PR. <laughs> 
That's where his office is in the right corner. Uh, yeah, here next to Sven Butenshaw. <laughs> so, oh, Sven Butenshaw. Uh huh. Ah. We gotta try and get him on the show. Malibu State. Former, former Vancouver Canucks, Sven Butenshaw. Your phone's right here. Malibu Stacy has swi- lost her phone. Just swipe right like 60 times. That's what she would Party's do. Party's getting out of hand already. Malibu Stacy is trying to lure disgruntled um, former employee Sheila? Sheila to the podcast. Well, she's on her way and she's got to bring a uh, uh, Canada or a uh, ginger ale for the party. So oh, okay. I was like, is this a person, ginger ale? May- it could be. You don't know that. Sheila Scott is like Chris Pronger. Whenever she comes by, can she's we say her actually, last name? She's, she's still playing for the team. She's really, really good. <laughs> she's still on the payroll. She's a little bit unpredictable, and she makes me nervous. So I don't know what she's gonna do. She might show up. There's and no nannies are safe. Is her name her. going on the cup? No. Oh. Ooh, you, I, might, you might want to whistle her last name. I don't think she wants people. They know who. They know who she is. She works for CTV. <laughs> wow. All of this. I think everybody knows everything about us and where I live. The internet. <laughs> Um, one question that came up from yeah, Steve. There's, there's more angry people in front of your house than Trump Tower right now in Manhattan. <laughs> people are pissed at Gita. Just they right not like your, They did not like your take on the Taylor Hall situation. <laughs> <laughs> Would you suspend Taylor Hall? Uh, you know what? I didn't. I didn't really. Th- the hit? I s- no, no, I would not suspend Taylor Hall. I wouldn't suspend Taylor Hall. He didn't intend to do it. It was a c- good. It wasn't a clean hockey hit, but it wasn't. Um, and he even held up P Mac. Yeah. I, I felt like it was a clean hit. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's as clean as you. It's the. It's a. It's a hard, unfortunate, clean hit, and he just got absolutely rocked. But yeah, I mean. They didn't even think twice to look at it. I think it was everything that happened afterwards. Everybody sort of like... They should suspend Spiza for all those headshots. <laughs> Stepping over. Yeah, P-Mag, what was your take on that whole situation? I, I did want to watch it again. I haven't seen it since like the night it happened. I didn't initially think it should be a suspension. But yeah, the danger for me... It was similar to... And I know people will disagree with me. The Todd Bertuzzi thing where... What really scared me about that yeah. was everybody dogpiling on top yeah. of them. So maybe there was an injury already, but so how stupid and dangerous is NHL, that when a guy goes if, down to pile on like if, that? If you're going to beat each other up after somebody gets hit, maybe put a little distance between the player that just got hit. 100%. Like, yeah. Like, good good on Jacob Markstrom for trying to yeah. clear the tracks and, and oh, totally. alarm everybody to what was going on. Best save he's made in three weeks. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Only. Hey, did they manage to win? Or come back a little bit more than like it was three two the last time I watched. And they got it. close with like Four a minute two. left. They got close and then an empty netter. But here's my take on that whole situation with the scrum. Yeah. Like I know the rules of hockey, like the unwritten rules, where like Taylor Hall hits him. Yeah. You got to go in yeah. fast and furious and, and mess him up a little you gotta. bit. You got to. Right. But read the room, guys. Like he was down and not moving instantly. Yeah. And there's still guys scrumming around. Some like Markstrom's probably yelling at the top of his lungs, "Stop it! Stop it! Cool it!" For the love you of God, you watch his head is bouncing around like a pinball. Yeah, yeah. that's where I cringed. I it was, was yelling at the TV. Exactly. Exactly. I was like, "Stop! Stop! Fight like, over there! Get yeah. away!" But you gotta or just g- don't fight. Like I feel like when something like that happens, everything has to stop, including the vengeance. That's exactly it. Like I don't. Need, it's, a, it's just instinctual to like want to hit somebody back. No, like it's it, not. It's, yeah. I don't know when that started. I played this game for a long time, and that on a clean hit when yeah. your teammate, like I went back That's in my day, but when one of my teammates would get run over clean, yeah. it didn't automatically mean a fight back then. It if meant, you fell down, I want to tend to you not uh, it, hit this, the next guy, this, Errol. This started, <laughs> this started like five years ago. Okay. And it started in the NHL where like the retribution on the clean body check started. Right. And this is an example of why it's stupid, because it, in in my opinion, endangered the life of somebody mm-hmm. unnecessarily. Like, in a perfect world, he gets popped by Hall. Right. And boom, medical attention right away, and he's on a board. But, like, instead, we have to go through this macho, tough guy bullshit. Well, it's a pretend fight, too. Yeah, no one's actually going to... Because, like, everybody knows, like, all the players know, like, Taylor Hall isn't... He's not Brad Marchand. Yeah. He's not right. Chris Pronger. And who fought him? Jason Megna? Yeah. Hey, you know it's Ma- McGenna. Megan? Jason Smegma. Playing like in his hometown tonight, so Fort like, Lauderdale. You know, yeah. I feel like Taylor Hall, he has to live in New Jersey. Things are tough enough already. <laughs> and, and he moved there from Edmonton. Yeah. So, you know, he's I give him a pass on that. And Larson, you know, it was it was a bad pass by Spiza. Um someone's at the door. Oh, I wonder who it could be. I like it. Is it Jeff? No, Jeff's he has children. Jeff never makes it. 
Well, he came. He's like our cool dad. He yeah. shows up every six months and shows us the time of our lives, and then we just throw our mother, who's in the day-to-day shit with us, <laughs> under the bus. But our Jeff- mom, who's who's cooking our meals. And making our cereal, we're like, ask her. But Jeff took us to Burger King. Yeah, and the one the, time. And he's the coolest. But Isn't Jeff it? is in every episode of Pucks on Net, pretty much, is he not? Uh, yeah, he does. He plays drums on the uh, on yes. the intro song. So there's a, a female that's arrived. That I don't, we don't know who it is. My money's on disgruntled former employee <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> I think it could be uh, it could be Mrs. Dave. Is it it's Mrs. Not Dave? It's Sheila. It could be... How many Might more females are we expecting? Lots. This <laughs> is a babe layer. There were there, there was yeah. a there was a ten podcasts <laughs> really lure the women. <laughs> there there was a ten to one sticks to catching glove ratio when I first got here. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, P Mac, who Yes sir. You gotta give a Christmas present to a hockey player. Um I want to give poor Ryan Miller, who we have all I think grown to love. Uh-huh. Really one I'm a of big our Ryan favorite Miller Canucks fan. now. I wanna get him a full shipment case of Sierra Cell joint formula because Ray Ferraro tells me as you get older your joints aren't quite what they used to be and he's he's hit some snags this season even though they want him to be the number one guy so let's get him some Sierra Cell okay get him all healed up get him to finish a couple more years before he has to you know well, I'm glad go out to pasture I'm glad we're not getting him the same thing I was worried about that because I'm getting him a gift too what yep. you get him? I'm getting him a ticket to Dallas Texas in March oh. mm. <laughs> they, they gotta send one of those goalies back they you gotta, gotta like, send someone down there we'll, we'll pick we'll pick up let goals in